Hey guys, my name is Annabelle and I'm filming this video today out here in the freezing cold. Um, it just snowed probably like eight or nine inches and um, it's kind of melting fast, but it's still like in the teens right now. So whew, I got to make this short and sweet. So basically I'm making this video because I am officially done with my forest therapy practicum work so I'm officially sorry I had to move I don't know if that's better maybe I'm officially done with all the practicum requirements and so I'm officially a certified forest therapy guide and I just wanted to talk I guess a little bit about my experience um, so the practicum was six months long and there's various requirements that I had to do and I was definitely trying to make the most of um, the space that was created, I guess, because I had to do this. So I was doing a lot of writing um, and just, I guess, documenting my experience, as well as obviously giving walks. I think I gave five forest therapy walks and there was some more like science-y type things that I had to do as well. Um, but it was a super awesome experience and I would do it all over again in a heartbeat. Um, they do have training, like you can help with the trainings and that sounds really amazing to me and I'd love to do that in the future. But yeah, so now where I guess am I headed with it? Um, I don't really have super concrete plans. I'll be doing, I guess, walks throughout um, not so much during winter, but in the spring and summer and, and fall, I plan to do some walks. And I would like to do retreats because um, something that I love so much about the immersive training week that I had with these other people who went on the six month journey with me just in different places, but we got the whole basics down. Um, during this first week and there was something about the community that was created there in such a short amount of time and just even having people around for for a week that you can get comfortable with and um, share your experience of of the forest your experience of life forest therapy provides the perfect foundation to create some type of a community in a very short amount of time and I do feel that community that's created in the walks but they're you know two to three hour walks and it's just not the same as spending a significant amount of your day together learning from one another and sharing and connecting so I'd really love to do forest therapy retreats besides that I I guess I don't have too much else to share. One other, one other, I guess, thought or feeling because I have a lot of, uh, I've been thinking a lot about sustainability and how do you, I guess, create change and make people care. I find forest therapy to be the best way to aid people in uh, beginning to care about the environment because there's so many people, you know, campaigning for people to start living more sustainably. But if they don't have a reason why, like say they don't really care about, you know, how much heat they use and they don't care about, say, the food that they choose to eat, bringing people on these walks and exposing them to the, to the powers, I would say, of the forest and what it can provide for you, your mental and emotional well-being. I think these walks are going to really change the game in terms of sustainability and help people really begin to care about our environment and this earth that we have that is in really dire need of attention and change. So yeah, I'm excited to 
to be a part of it now, to be officially certified and to see where it takes me, I guess. I've already met so many cool people because of this forest therapy experience and I can't wait to see who else I draw into my life through this practice and um, these walks. So I think that's all I have to share. If you have questions about forest therapy or a response of any, any kind to this video, you can leave it below. Um, yeah, I hope you're having an amazing day and I will see you very soon in another video.